Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys to part 4 of Let's Play Civilization 5, a brave new world playing as Wu Zaitan of the Chinese Empire. Let us continue our DT journey. So... <coughs> my bad, sorry. We're currently working on metal casting, slowly but surely working our way up to machinery, which will give us the Chukunu. We have a lot to do, though, before we can get there. Load, textures, load. Um, <coughs> need a lot of money. We're currently moving our settler. Oh, hello there. How you doing? We're currently moving our settler out um, to expand over on this location right here, which is one of the best city locations I have ever seen. We're going to get four fish tiles, marble, wheat, and horses out of this one. So that's uh, shaping up to be one of the better cities I've seen. You know, there's so many galleys here. I am actually a little bit sour about not having a composite bowman. I'm going to trade with Ur. Um, does Ur have any quests? They don't. I am not going to surpass Alexander with this quest, I think. Um, Sounds too good. Too good? Yeah, we denounced the Mongols in the last part. That was our, I was going to check that. I, I, I couldn't remember if I actually denounced them, but I did. Which uh, that would be some nice uh, diplomacy bonuses. Um, I am actually considering starting on my national college. Um, that's going to take me 19 turns. Is Beijing on production focus? It is. I really don't like postponing the national college. I really don't. Um, I think I need to finish my barracks at some point. But I think perhaps it would be more beneficial if I went for a granary. Because Beijing really needs to grow faster. Um, I'm actually probably going to switch over to food focus once the granary is done. Um, granary, I do believe I am working with the banana. So that will be one extra food from the bananas as well as two flat food. So that's nice. I am selling my sugar. I'm getting horses from city states. And I will also get... Um, I will also get some iron from here. My legion are currently working on a road down to Mosin Kani. Manila does have a road quest. The big problem with uh, using legions to dig roads is that they will anger the city-states. If I move the legions into their borders to dig uh, roads, I'm going to lose influence every single turn. Wow, Bogota, Bogota got captured by Genghis Khan. Way to go, Genghis. And... Uh, Morocco likes that we denounce Genghis Khan. That was a smart move, in my opinion. That was a really smart move. Also, let's check out what's going on with Ur. Oh my god, two influence. That's almost... It's almost tempting to dump gold on that. But I need my gold for paper makers. So... Alright, well, I'm gonna continue on my road then. Um... Right... So unless I get friendly with Manila, I won't be able to continue this road. Actually, what the hell am I doing? I didn't finish this road. Maybe I should go around. That's probably not a bad idea. Also, God, I want a composite bowman in Shanghai. So much wasted experience on these tire reams right here. I don't even know why I'm attacking them, to be quite honest. Alright, and... He made a declaration of friendship with Ramp Control Face, which means that I'm pretty much bound to get a declaration of friendship with uh, with Morocco right now. Because um, we have a lot of green modifiers, and that's good, because I need a new trading partner. It's really funny to see how Pocatello has settled his cities, like, directly west of me. I can't believe he hasn't taken, like, this location over here. Maybe it's too close to the city state. Anyway, I don't know why these legion didn't finish their roads. That was a little bit annoying. Anyway, now I'm going to get my granary, and that should allow Beijing to grow. I do need more food around Beijing. Yes, there comes the Declaration of Friendship. That is great. I am actually considering denouncing Alexander. Um, let's see. You better pick your allies wisely. Okay, so there's a lot of people who denounced Mongolia. They're probably going to denounce them again. Okay, no one has denounced Alexander, so there's no point yet. Oh my god, another legion. Holy shit, that's amazing. Oh, that's great. I wonder, actually, if I have a harbor here, I should probably get a road between Shanghai and the other unit. 
uh, on the other city. We'll see what I do. Would be nice to actually build a long road all the way up to the Canal City. I mean, yes, it's gonna be expensive as fuck, but still. Anyway, that means I can send these legion down here to help. It's amazing that I'm getting legions. They are... I gotta capitalize on that, actually. They're gonna be very useful when I attack Pocatello. Alright, let's settle our city. This is the, the location we want for sure. So now let's grab a granary. Let's make sure... Yeah, that's a nice tile to work. Two food tile. We could... We could work this tile to make the granary. Actually, that's probably better. Yeah, we're gonna work the horses to get the granary out quicker. That, in the end, that's going to make the city grow faster. I'm also considering... No, I don't want... Considering working the iron tile, actually. We'll see. We'll need to improve it first. There's so much we need. And not enough time to actually get it. But this road is going to be very useful when we eventually invade Mosonkani. Which will happen soon, hopefully. Alright, caravan. So, I think I'm going to keep trading with Pocatello. I don't think I'm going to be going to war with him for the next 30 turns. I should have checked quests, however. We have a quest with Kala Lumpur. That is not really interesting. So now I need to think. Do I want to workshop? I probably do. However, right now I want Beijing to grow. Oh my god, 29 turns. Are you kidding me? It grows equally fast. Alright. Well, we definitely want to workshop as quickly as possible. That's going to speed up the production in Beijing. I might even consider placing a specialist to get myself a great engineer. Um, my next policy choice is going to be honor. I want warrior code. Um, come to think of it, exploration would be really nice, considering maritime infrastructure would, would boost three out of four, four of my cities with three hammers. Oh, give me a composite bowman around here, please. Please. That would be so sweet. Seven turns to get a mine. Really crappy tile, actually. Only two iron. And all it's gonna do is support my legions. So, but yeah, we want Beijing to grow a little bit. Get some horses would be nice as well. So a lot of tiles we need to work. We need to work the horses. The mine would be nice. Actually. But yeah, get the, uh, get the workshop up first. Probably the smartest thing we can do right now. And build the road all the way to the border of Pocatello. And then probably work on the road up to the Canal City right here. I mean, harbors are nice and all, but having roads is really nice. Because then you can quickly move units between your cities. Although you save a lot of gold from skipping roads and going straight for harbors. Let's see. Is there any... We have a quest to get a great profit. That is not going to happen. I am almost tempted to dump 250 gold on our... They are a maritime city state. They would make my cities grow so much faster. It would also kick Alexander out. Shanghai has grown. Pop 4. What else are we working here? Seems fine. Gangso is still working the horses. That's good. We have a lot of money right now. I'm almost tempted to grab a market in Beijing. That would actually be kind of swell. But... I need to get my national college up, and I need to do it before I get my fourth city. Turn 149. You should ideally have it done by now, if you really rush science. Alright, well, let's uh, finish the road. The reason why I'm, I'm building my road here is because in the unlikely event that I ever get involved in a war with Manila, I don't want a road going through a city-state. I learned that the hard way during my Ottomans game, because I built my road directly through a city-state. And resulted in giving me a lot of harsh time because I was forced to b put so much money into the city state to keep the road. Uh, and it wasn't very pleasant. Alright, I'm gonna go work the iron tile now. What's good about this is that I get iron to sell, which will give me flood gold because I have two declarations of friendship right now. And I bet they're bo both interested in iron. I'm interested in iron myself. I have a lot of warriors to promote. Oof, I want to mark it. I want to mark it so badly. Okay, Alexander actually dislikes me now, which makes me think perhaps denouncing him is a good idea. What is this scout even doing? I wonder. Is he just hanging around? If I want to, I can... I can pour some money. Okay, now Alexander just completed some sort of stupid quests. So now I can't do that anymore. 
Yeah, you you were going up here to guard this location from settlers. Oh, give me a composite bowman, please. Alright, let's grab the iron mine. I'm really glad ships can't contest land tiles. I do believe they used to do that back in vanilla. That was really fucking annoying. Alright, Beijing will grow in seven turns, complete the workshop in ten turns. That is great. I wonder what kind of tile I should go for next. Maybe the horses? Horses would be nice. I could sell them for some cash. I need cash right now, so I can buy myself a paper maker in Gangzo. I also eventually need to grab this Canal City. If I don't get this Canal City, I'm gonna suffer in the late game, because this Canal City is going to be so important for my naval expansion. You know, trade routes, druids, eventual battleships maybe in the late game. Battleships are really good. I'm not even sure how the war with Pocatello is gonna be. Well, speaking of which, that would be awesome. He wants to go to war with Ramkahang. Sorry, Ducius Maximus. Not interested, I think. Yeah, look at this city right here. This is a thing of beauty. Thing of absolute, utter beauty. So, we're getting 30 gold per turn right now. So, we should get the paper maker in. Here comes some Mang's math. Eight turns? I think? Some, some, somewhere around that. Eight turns. Give or take. Eight or nine turns. Gold will, of course, go down and up. So, we are currently trading away all of our luxuries. We're working on the road. Siam is protecting Ur. Okay. You can protect Ur as much as you'd like. But let alongs for culture. Okay, so... We are kind of done with these Legion. I do think the Legion has have a higher maintenance cost than the Warrior, so we want to keep the Legion inside uh, Beijing. I could also promote them. 110 gold. That's quite expensive, actually. Alright, I'm just going to keep these scouts around. You know, their main job is just to scout for settlers. If I see some, I will actually declare war to prevent... Like, Jenkish Khan could potentially expand no, no, here. No, Ooh, wine! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I do believe I have a quest from Manila. To grab wine. I do. Alexa oh my god, 108. You know what? With the wine and the road... With the wine and the road... I can actually... I mean, you know what? That's uh, that's actually pretty decent. But I'm I have to wait. Okay, I hope no I hope no one snatches the wine away from me while this is happening. Um, because this is actually kind of important. Next turn, I'm gonna buy the wine, which will give me enough influence not to be a trespasser. And then I'm gonna finish the road, which I think will knock Alexander away. That's going to give me a maritime. I don't know what Pocatello said to me, but he said something. This could potentially be really good. Alright, it's going to cost me 9 gold per turn, which is, at this point, not very nice. But I think it's going to be worth it, to be quite honest. Alright, so... I hope no one has bought... No, wait, that's Burika. I hope no one has bought Pocatello's wine. He's that friendly with me. Dead. Okay, good. So let's trade uh -huh. the wine for 9 gold per turn. We need to probably wait for Manila to actually recognize that we have it. You guys can just fortify. Oh my god, missionaries. Cool. Yeah, please give me a religion. Although I don't think they're headed for my city. I think they're going to convert Yerevan. All the way up here. It makes no sense. Why would he send his Greek missionary up here when he could have sent it to Beijing? I don't know. Alright, so now I will get around 50 influence with Manila, which should make me able to send my legions in. Yep, there we go. Ugh, fucking Manila is blocking me, though. Alright, so now I need 6 to 7 influence. I think I get around 80 influence from the road quest. So if I do this, I shouldn't trespass here now. Not with them being my friends and shit. I think you can... I'm pretty sure you can trespass when you're allies with military units. Alright. 
Valletta, still my eternal allies. That's good. Oh, they have a culture quest. That's actually slightly bad. Alright. Now we can work on the road. It's going to take us five turns. Hopefully, we should be able to knock Alexander out of that city-state. But that's not really the problem with having Alexander in the game. He's so difficult to compete with when it comes to city-states. It's really hard. That's what she said. It's like... He just takes over all the city-states, and since his influence degrades so damn slowly, it's almost impossible to take them away from him. Alright, um... Right, so who is the tech leader? Let's check who the tech leader is. It is Pocatello! Well, that is convenience. I was planning on spying on Mosson County anyway. Uh, the Inca have the highest, the largest city. You know, I think it's better to spy on, um... To spy on the Incans, actually. Wait, that's not even their capital? Are you kidding me? Because uh, Pocatello is sure to have a counter-spy in his capital, whereas the Incans probably do not. And a, a larger city means technologies are stolen quicker, which is always a good thing. Alright, good. I still have my Pantheon. Wait, uh, my city is actually slowly starting to follow Buddhism. Let's check out what kind of bonuses Buddhism gives. So we get Jesuit education, which, oh my god, I want this. I could build universities, public schools, and research labs with faith. This is perfect. And... Okay, gain science. That's not important. Culture from plantations. is like, Oh, I want this religion. Pagodas and cathedrals? Are you fucking kidding me? This is like the best religion in the world. Please, give it to me. Who has this? Who has Buddhism? Where does it come from? It comes from... Wow, this, this fucking religion has spread far. Is it Genghis Khan? I think so. No, that's not the holy city for Buddhism. Is it? It would say... No, Beshbalik. Karakoram. Who has Bu... Oh, it's... Oh my god, Ram Control Face. His religion. Okay, this is the holy city for Buddhism. Yeah, I want this. I want this religion so badly. If I get this religion, I will buy a fucking Inquisitor to keep it. That's how much I love it. Alright, we need that barracks now. And uh, this city needs a workshop. That it does. We can get a paper maker next turn in Gangzhou. Um, so the big question is now, do we want the barracks or do we want the national college? Probably the national college, truth be told. I am actually going to chop forests to get it built quicker. Yeah, I am definitely going to be doing that. I need the barracks eventually, and I need Chukonu. At some point, I'm just going to say, fuck it, and just build Chukonu. So the longer the waits, the more obsolete they'll become. But I want a early promotion on them. That is going to be pretty important. All right, we finally have iron. Um, I think I'm actually going to go over here now. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'll complete this road in two turns. That's great. Oh, I want Jeshuit education so badly. That is like one of the best reformatory beliefs ever. And I don't have anything to spend my faith on. If I get this religion, I'll get both pagodas and cathedrals, and I'll, I'll be able to buy universities with faith. Like, that would be a fucking dream come true if I could just... I wish you could ask the AI, please spread religion to my city. We want your religion. Come here. We will embrace your prophets. And plantations as well. I have like four fucking plantations. Because you do get the Pantheon as well. Alright. Um, let's swap these two around. Now I can get myself my paper maker. So that's great. Um, I'm going to finish the barrack eventually. But let's get go grab the National College first. Then the barracks. And then it's Chukonu all the way. Maybe I'll even buy some. I'll need a good number of them. A pretty good number of them to be effective. Um, at least five, if not more. And I need a couple of Chukunus also to defend against the eventual shitstorm that is going to be Pocatello. I, please tell me this settler is moving west. Because if it is, that means we're going to have ourselves a war between Pocatello and Burica. Alright, so they are recognizing my road, but they want 
units, do they? 21 influence. Um, I could... You know, this chariot archer is doing nothing but sapping income. It could become a knight. But I think I'm actually going to go for the influence. I mean, they're going to, of course, acknowledge that eventually. But I would love to get my hands on Manila. That would be a really nice pickup for me, I feel. Uh, no. If I have sugar, I know exactly who I'm going to give it to. Not you. I'm going to give it to Morocco for flood gold. Alright, so he, he only has 180, but that's fine. So I should be able to get some... I should at least be able to get 5 gold per turn or something like that. 4 gold. Come on, 3 gold. That's good. Also, I have iron to sell now. So I'm going to ask uh, Rum Control Face if he wants to buy my iron. Oh, that would be ironic. Ha 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 ha. Fifteenth time I make that joke. It was never funny. Uh, 21 influence. I, I gave them a chariot, but I guess it, it they have to actually show up. And yeah, the chariot is useless. It's just sitting there sapping income. I don't know really know why I built it. <laughs> Scouts, please. Move. Yeah, once I'm done with this pasture, I'm gonna go and chop this forest. I need to finish my national college a lot quicker than this. I need my science beach. Faster movement on road is also really nice. And I'm really happy with this road right here. I'm going to be using it to my advantage. Chukunus are on this river right here. Just bleeding Pocatello Dry would be really, really beneficial. Kuala Lumpur longs for culture. Pocatello is also the strongest AI in the game, which is quite nice. Because it means I might dethrone the best capital in the game. This is looking like it might be a domination game, actually. Alright, so I might have some money to throw Alexander out. No, that's not going to be enough. How about Ur? How are we doing right there? 35 influence. Mm, not doing particularly well there, are we? Um, well, wow. Really? 2,000 culture? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm, I'm chanceless, aren't I? Well, at least I'm allied with them. Alright, these scouts needs to return. Really? They can't? Hmm. How can they not return? Are they like boxed in or something? It would appear like they are. I could ask for open borders. He doesn't want to have open borders. How about Siam? Does, does he generate any tourism yet? Four tourists. That is hardly an issue. Indeed, there we go. Alright, I was going to sell my iron. I should probably get to that. Also, I have horses to sell right now. So that could be potentially a lot of gold. Oh, ink and great profit. No, wait, no, no, no. We want Buddhism. Away. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Pocatello, no. No, you will not settle a city here. I am sorry, but no. I could ask him to not settle cities next to me. He might say yes. Oh, this would be like... No, he can't settle here. It's too close to the city-state. He can't settle here because it's within four tiles of a city-state. He can't settle one step to the north or west because it's close to my borders. He would have to settle on this, this tile directly beneath this great profits. He might be... He actually, come to think of it... He might be moving up north here to take to claim the city that I originally intended to take. I want to prevent Indeed, him from doing that. All right, he yeah, actually he does not have a lot of money. How about Morocco? How are they doing? They're doing much better. Do you want iron? Yes, you do. Do you want horses? Yes, you do. All right, so iron and horses. Six iron. Does he want six iron? Yes, he does. He wants all of my iron. Great. Um, so, let's ask him for everything he has, plus, what, 15 gold per turn? No, he's not gonna say, no. say yes to that. How about 7 gold? 6 gold? 5 gold? 4? 3? 2? 1? Yeah, there we go. That's a very nice payday. Holy crap, look at all the gold I just got. Um, that is probably gonna go towards... Uh, maybe I should have grabbed this iron anyway. Um, hmm. Alright. 
I might actually be looking into not trading with Pocatello anymore right now. I have a trade quest with Kuala Lumpur. Might as well become their allies, right? But suddenly I have like a shit ton of cash. I'm tempted to spend it at something. Maybe a forge. Forge would be really nice, actually. It would give me production from the iron, as well as 15% production towards my Chukonu. That would be insane, actually. Could even buy a couple of Chukonu. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spend this money wisely. It needs to be spent on the war effort towards Pocatello. I could potentially also try to snag Manila. That would be huge. Taking that away from Alexander's? Oh crap, in 14 turns someone is going to take me. I don't know who, but I don't think it's going to be Alexander, because I don't think Alexander's culture output is that good. I don't think it is. Anyway, I'm going to... You know what? I am going to be taking Manila. 30 influence? Yep. Yeah, I am going to be doing this, because that's like... Three food in my capital, one food in all of the other cities. That is really good. And you know, when I eventually go to war with Pocatello, they might help me out. So I think that was a, I think that was 500 gold well spent. To be quite honest, I am not angry about that. Uh, I'm gonna get. Um, oh, that was uh, Ramkahang's city state. Oh, we're sorry. I thought that was Alexander's city state. Huh. Well, whoever wins this culture thing is going to get a huge boost in 14 turns. But I have a lot of influence with them. 121. How am I doing on Valletta? Only 90. Someone might overtake me very soon. Someone's getting a lot of culture quests, and I do not like it. I really do not. And I don't like the settler either. The settler is unnerving, to say the least. I just gotta make sure that Pocatello doesn't grab any nearby. Like, I'm a little bit worried about Valletta, actually, when I do declare war on Pocatello. I think Pocatello's gonna hit Valletta hard. Very hard. But the units will be very helpful. Yeah, it's gonna be a national college, and then it's gonna be a barracks, and then it's gonna be non stop Chukonu production from that point on. I wish I had more composite bowmen. Sadly, I do not. I think it's time to send these warriors down. Definitely is. And, uh... I really need to get this iron as well, so I can upgrade my swordsman. I'm gonna have a lot of swordsmen. It's gonna be really good, actually. 17 combat strength on Legion is actually insane. Normal swordsmen have 14. Long swordsmen have 21. They're actually stronger than knights. There was a period in civilization where knights were much stronger than longswordsmen, and it made them completely garbage. I'm really glad they fixed that, actually. Knights are already good because they're faster. I need... Oh, I got another legion? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my fucking god, this is insane. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go for shock. There is mostly open terrain among these legion. But that is great. That is some prime shit right here. Um, can I not go through here? I really want to send the scout back. Huh. I I guess not. Did I lose my open border steel? I think I... Indeed no, wait, right. why? Huh? I don't know why these scouts suddenly couldn't move. Yeah, I need to save some gold for my eventual... Iron up. Oh, that's tempting. That is way too good. I'm not gonna say no to a fucking research agreement. That's for sure. Not on Deity. You need as many of those things as you can get. He might actually... Yeah, he's working on a road here. <laughs> he's actually using my road. That is... That is kind of cute, actually. He might He might grab this location right here. Uh, might Maybe next to the mountain? Next to the mountain would be a good city, actually. He'd get an observatory. He'd share some tiles with the city state, but... Yeah, he's definitely looking to expand here somewhere. Uh, Alright, I can go through here. Declaration of Friendship has expired with whom? Siam. Yeah, we, we want to renew that, if possible. I am happy to accept. Great. 
There's really like no reason why we shouldn't have this declaration of friendship. Alright, so forest will be chopped. That should speed it up. Jengish Khan has become a nuisance. I I do agree. He has he's been a nuisance the entire game, really. But he is not my worry. Right now it's Pocatello I'm going for. Ten turns until I get my policy. That's gonna be the open honor opener, which will be complete garbage. Alexander doesn't like me. Um Okay, both of those guys want to go to war against Genghis Khan. Hmm. The Statue of Zeus. That would be an interesting wonder to get. It's probably really cheap at this stage, too. Statue of Zeus is actually a really good wonder. The 50% bonus against cities uh, lasts throughout the entire game. Alright, let's continue trading with Ur. Ur, -der, I'm a burr. Oh, looky here. Trebuchets. Genghis on the warpath. And we have a religion in Gangso. Interesting. Let's take a look at it. So, faith from quarries, two production of city as a specialist, extra production, and ceremonial burial. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's grab a workshop. Hmm. All right. I think this is actually a good time to uh, make a shortcut, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. And uh, Pocatello is plotting against me. Ooh. Leave a like and a comment. I'll see you guys next time.